in previous history of tuberculosis whether they will get uh, fertility or not many people having doubts if there is any history of tuberculosis see usually tuberculosis will uh, affect uh, many parts in the body mainly the lungs and then the abdomen and then the skin and then the lymph glands and all these will be affected and uh, suppose if the reproductive system reproductive system also gets affected whenever the reproductive system affects it affects the uterus if it affects the tubes it affects the ovaries and every part and in the abdomen and uh, all over the surrounding structures of the reproductive system so whenever we come to know that the reproductive system is affected by the tuberculosis and then we have to give the treatment for 9 months period that is the uh, anti with anti tuberculosis drugs and with uh, giving very good food and all and we can treat the tuberculosis and sometimes uh, the um, inside layer of the endometrium uh, like that is uterus that is endometrium cavity endometrium will be getting affected sometimes the yasherman syndrome all the um, like uh, uh, tissues like so much formation of the foreign uh, body tissue and the infective tissues and then uh, it gets uh, it uh, many people will not even get the periods also if really they are getting period it is very good if they are uh, getting a scanty period uh, little bit enhancement of the period uh, we will do and we will do the uh, reproductive procedures art procedures and we uh, try to give the good result uh, and uh, if the uterus is having uh, any problem usually it will be um, uh, reduced it will be improved by giving tuberculosis anti tuberculosis drugs and uh, but the tubes will be already damaged means the tubes are very sensitive structures and after the uh, damage again they will not come to a normal stage so the tubes will be uh, some, uh, suppose it depends upon the tubal problem actually sometimes the tubes will become very tortuous very thick very thick walled and inside all flagella and cilia will be uh, spoiled and sometimes the fimbrial ends will be spoiled so that what we will do sometimes hydrosalpings may occur pyosalpings may occur so we don't want the tubes immediately we will clamp the tubes and we will sometimes we may do salpingectomy also and then the uterus we will clear the uterus we will clean the uterus and we will give certain uh, anti tuberculosis drugs and uh, all the vitamins and everything will pour and we will uh, try to improve the patient's uh, capacity uh, child bearing capacity also will improve and we do the histoscopy and we do the um, endometrial biopsy and we send the endometrial biopsy to the histopathological examination and we will come to know the about the organism like uh, which organism is affected uh, like uh, which organ is there and uh, accordingly we will try to give the uh, drugs and then many of my patients have got uh, pregnancy and they have got uh, um, uh, babies also even they are suffered uh, uh, with the tuberculosis problem and with that infection and uh, we treat them very properly and then afterwards we will uh, uh, like we have done so many uh, like uh, ART procedures and all our uh, patients have got pregnancies. Suppose if the patient is having Asherman syndrome like totally blocked and the pregnant like uh, bleeding is not there even though we give some drugs the bleeding is not there then uh, it is waste uh, we have to advise them to go for surrogacy procedure.